Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right. GCW Fight Club Day 2, which was yesterday. I'm coming off that great fight club we had on Saturday night. De definitely check out the review of that and the review of WWE Fastlane. All right. Fight Club 2. Pretty good show last night. I was able to watch it today. Um, not as great as the uh, night one was, but you know, you can't always have the uh, Art of Board Games deathmatch be four and a half star like that one was. Alright, first match we had Masha Slamovich versus Jack Cartwheel. Um, I just l really love kind of the two different styles here. You've got the uh, brawling submission style of Masha Slamovich and Jack Cartwheel doing his cartwheels and this kind of Lucha Libre style. Uh, Masha wasn't taking that out. She was grabbing him when he was doing cartwheels, slamming him to the ground, hooking submission holds on him. Uh, Masha ended up getting the victory there. I give it three and a quarter. Next up, we had kind of a catch all wrestler of a Tony Deppin versus just pure muscle and pure strength of Shane Mercer. Um, the two of them, kind of like that first match, had a nice back and forth here, but the power of Shane Mercer wasn't able to beat Tony Deppin. Tony Depp and getting the victory and then giving that two and three quarters. Um, next up, we had a six person tag match with a lot of backstory to it. We had Bussy, Alley Catch, and Effie teaming up with Rena Yamashita. But when the match first started, it was Bussy, Alley Catch, and Effie. And then Charles Mason and Paro, they recruited the GCW champion, Blake Christian. Well, Charles Mason is this mercenary kind of lethal weapon and his muscle Paro who they've been attacking Effie for gosh seems like two years he's been going after Effie and and all of Effie's friends um, Charles Mason has um, it's across different com wrestling companies and everything um, and getting Blake Christian involved in it now and then it was basically a 2 on 301 302 beatdown and Rina Yamashita came out to help Bussy and ultimately was able to get the victory there. Um, but definitely this will carry on. Because um, I'm pretty sure Blake, Christian, and Rina Yamashita have a match coming up. I would guess so. Because the way she got involved in this. And them giving a match. Um, two and three quarters. Uh, next up we had a six man tag, tag team death match. Honestly it was... Not that great, to be honest with you. It was Jimmy Lloyd and Joey Janela and Soy Rack representing GCW. And Takashita, Suzuki, Tora, Segura, Valento, Jack representing uh, Freedoms from last night's show. Really wasn't that great, to be honest with you. The Team Freedoms got the victory and ended up giving it two and a half. Um, and then we had one of my favorite matches. Wasn't star rated that well. But it was overall, it was a good match. And a lot of guys that I like, the talent in the ring here. We had the East West Express, Jordan Oliver, Nick Wayne, going up against Garbage Daddies, Alec Price, and Cole Roderick. Um, just four guys that go out there and just give it all every match. Alec Price, the Northeast Ace. Um, this guy has so much talent. He's pretty good on the mic as well. And Jordan Oliver, Nick Wayne, we know how great they are. Cole Ratty, Ratty, the Ratty Daddy. So these these uh, four guys went out there and just took it to one another. Um, East West Express ended up getting the victory. I ended up giving it three and a half. And then we had the first of two death matches, um, sub main and main event here. We had uh, Masha Takata in versus Mance Warner, and then June Kashi versus Matt Tremont. In the Takata Man's Warner match, <sighs> wasn't completely as violent as last night was. Night one was. We had a, some doors with barbed wire on it, um, and then we had some tubes, and that was about it. Um, I think it might have been a pane of glass as well. Um, but uh, Takata getting a victory there, and then giving it three and a half, so it was pretty good. And then that main event, Jim Kashi and Matt Tremont. Yeah, that's a death match. That was just a little bit of everything, to be honest with you. Bloody everything, just tubes, glass everywhere. 
Um, but June Kosh ended up getting the victory at the end. Ended up giving that three and a half as well. Um, so there's three three main events I've called the tag match East with Express versus Garbage Daddies, and then Takeda and Vince Warner and June Kasi and Matt Tremont. They're all three and a half star. Um, this year has been amazing for GCW. A ton, a ton, a ton of shows. Fight Plus, place to find that. Everything is there from the entire library of GCW. Um, every show in 2023 now. I have done a review here with Star Ratings right here on Robert Sports Show. Make sure you check those out. As always, thanks for watching the Robert Sports Show. And don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day, Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader, Sports Show content.